Well, hey folks, PC7 here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 22. Indeed, we are struggling away on our giant gormous cornfield once again. I've got uh, the ever-helpful AI doing some seeding. Ooh, are we going to make it up this hill? <laughs> and as you can see, I'm kind of uh, looking after the rolling, so yeah. Whoa, <laughs> a little bit of trouble with uh, getting the old stops on there. Yeah, this is uh, a little bit of a struggle for this tractor. But we end up getting onto these uh, really hilly parts. Oh, I've turned in too soon. It's actually the uh, next one I need. And then we're going to have to give that fella a chance to get his thing done, I guess. After this row. Okay. Want a race? Hee <laughs> Ha ha. Hope everybody's doing well. It is the first of the month, May the 1st, and this is the 500th, that's right, 500th episode of Farm Sim 22 that I will be posting. So, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Uh-oh. I think we're about to lose our race. <laughs> Come on, New Holland. Yeah, he's definitely gaining at a pretty good rate. <laughs> That's okay, we're pretty much stuck here once we hit the end of the field anyway. Until they get a little more of their business done. They've got 38% uh, seed left and 56% fertilizer. So we are going to have to... Uh, get some seeds into them pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, what? He's stuck there, is he? Is this what they're going to tell us? Okay, let's go and get them sorted out, shall we? They've already left. <laughs> yeah, shut the thing down, ran the heck away. Good for them.
Looks like we're gonna get to run one more anyway because they are quicker than us. But then, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, have to wait and let things catch up a little bit. <coughs> So yeah, wow, 500 episodes, eh? Hmm. We've done a couple of homestead maps. We did the uh, expansion map. That was kind of cool, it had its moments. It was a, a whole lot about production and not a whole lot about farming, which was, yeah, I don't know, not the greatest. Shout out to uh, Sooty Farmer and his... You haven't completed the field, you YOLO. Um, and his family. Sorry to hear about your uh, fishing issues, buddy. It is, uh, it is a drag when your hardware lets you down. I found that... Uh, thanks to the proliferation of Chinesium and all the wonderful things it creates... That it's actually cheap enough now that I carry a uh, spare rod and reel in the car when I go fishing. So that if I do snap a rod, or like with you, if the uh, bale on my reel goes flying into the water on a cast, or any untoward incidents, really, well, why did he not turn around and come back? then uh, my day isn't over. Now it sounds like you've got some place that's fairly easy to access. Um, so may not be such a big deal for yours, I don't know. But yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a pain in the butt if you have to uh, go all the way back home again after starting a fishing trip. These are seeds that we've got back here, are they not? Mm hmm. Okay, this one's not quite full. So we'll add it. Whoops. Jumped right up on the trailer. Wasn't expecting that. There you go. Do, do, do. 
We'll run these down, save us dragging the uh, cedar and the tractor all the way back here to the farm. I mean, it's not far, we're just down the road here, but far enough to be an annoyance when it needn't be. Oh, definitely easier to find the entrance now. Very cool. All right. <clears throat> so, what's the deal here? Has he reached the other end and decided that's more than enough again, or what? Yeah, I do believe he's, uh, he or she has once again abandoned their post. a little more uh, behaved. I do believe we're full. I do believe we're full. Yep. Not full on fertilizer, but then again, we're not using nearly as much of it, are we? Yeah, it's this pointy bit at the end that's catching him out, eh? It's probably going to catch him out every time. I don't know why he's stopping at the other end, though. That's a bit of a what-the-heck-are-you-doing moment there, but... You know. Now, why would he leave it turned on to the front unit? Hit the uh, rampy bit on there. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... Hmm. 
whatever's left of this one. Not, not much, but some. Oh, doesn't actually go there. Goes here. Well done. What do we got going on back here? Still baking the bread, are we? Excellent. Sometimes some of these are very awkward to carry. It's almost like you're dragging part of it on the ground and you keep tripping over it. <laughs> Which, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time for me, but you know. So, city figures, I just packed them in too tight at one end. That makes sense. Bales have always had. Uh, slightly off behavior in this game. I mean, they've gotten way better over the years. I mean, way better. There was a time when uh, you would have sworn that bales were made out of uh, soap bubbles and air because they weighed nothing and they were slippery as heck. <laughs> yeah. You would, uh, almost impossible to come to a stop with a front loader that had a bale on it because the bale would go sailing off the front of the forks. And, uh, as you were usually doing a transport mission to be in that position, you, uh, usually end up chasing your bale across a road and through a ditch and all that happy, happy, joy, joy stuff until you'd finally catch up with it. Then you'd get it loaded back onto the fork and uh, very gingerly start making your way back to wherever you started. Uh, it was, uh, it was good. Stacking them on trailers was generally an exercise in absolute frustration. Um, yeah. Like, just a mind-numbing exercise. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Cut across our neighbor's wheat field. Nice field, by the way, dude. Very nice. Hmm. Not too shabby. Alright, here we go. This is our... Field of corn. Now I'm sure by now he's just sitting down there going, Oh, job's done. Because, you know, it's not. Yes, that's what I thought. You twat. But yeah, this is going to be a, a constant thing here because, again, this field comes to a point. And if there's one shape that the AI doesn't like, it's the pointy shape. So 
So, uh, how about a ride to my tractor there, buddy? Because I think we've got room to lay down one more track. Oh, this is just gonna take weeks. There we go. Now we shouldn't have any issues at the top here. I mean, that's a pretty open and shut kind of deal. I don't know why he stopped the one time. Maybe he thought the uh, turnaround was too difficult. No, oh, he's got the idea here. He's going to make a go at it. Hang right on. Too far ahead for him to catch up this time. a little bit just because I don't want to end up in the same sort of uh, situation that our buddy's in there there we go that should do it so briefly actually uh, well we've done this one haven't we it's that one hey. so you got turned around are you gonna actually do it you're not are you I don't get that you knew enough to turn around, but you don't know enough to actually pick the row up and get back on it, eh? Alright. Unfortunately, uh, oh, it's close. We might actually be a rowing. Oh, this thing is hard to control backwards. <clears throat> I 
Lloyd does pretty much as much direction changing as the tractor does. So you kind of have to, there we go, get them working together. And all the way up to this one. Is he stopped again? See, there's no reason to not pick up the thing on that end. No reason at all. Well, I mean, other than, you know, hep hep, I'm dumb as a brick. I don't know. I just don't know. Even you, Kaka. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. Another Darwin Award winner right there, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I can see the conversation now. Hey, is this the farm labor pool? Yeah. Do you think you could maybe, uh, Quit hiring workers from the asylum down the road and actually, uh, you know, send me somebody with some farming experience? Would that really be too much of an issue for you? Let me see. Three percent seeds. I'm not surprised he's not running out of seeds. He's not doing bugger all. Does a row and stops. And does a row and stops. There we go. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Gets all the way back to here, goes, yeah, that's where my next row is. Okay. No, some more reverse. You're an idiot. Yes, this is me and nothing but the me. Just reaches a point where you go, why? You know? And yeah, like I said, I can understand stopping at the other side, but why up here? It's not that difficult.
Okay. And that is the seeding for the cornfield. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, that was a big field. A big field indeed. So, I'm going to finish off the uh, the last couple roll row. <laughs> Easy for you to say, species. The last couple of rows that need rolling. Although, holy smokes, that looks like a lot more than a couple of rows. But there you go. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that uh, like button. Again, look in the description down below. There is links there to uh, Sooty Farmer and uh, Old Man 102, etc. Have yourselves a great day. Please hit that like button. Helps a lot. Ciao for now.